Hello, everybody. This is John Bain. I welcome you to Satisfactory. Hope you guys are pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because here we are back with some more Satisfactory. And I've been doing a lot of work. Actually, a lot of work. And I'm about to try something out if I have enough stuff. Do I have enough stuff? I barely have enough stuff. I almost don't want to do this. But I'm going to do it anyway. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to grab a stack of those. And then we're going to go over here. Grab these bad boys. And I want to uh, unlock the next tier of the belts and stuff. I have actually never done that before. All, that, all this stuff we're getting into now, I've never done because I haven't been able to get it this far in the tiers and stuff. So let's find out what the deal is because I want to know. There we go. What's it going to cost to make this stuff, man? Milestone reached. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Caterium scanning unlocked. All right, then. Uh, what is it going to take to use this stuff, though? Logisticals. Uh, mark. Oh, it's, that's all it is? Really? Okay, so mark four, and that's 480 versus 270 resources per minute. Hell yes. Hell yes. Yes, yes. Okay. That changes a lot of things. <laughs> all right. Uh... Uh, will we do anything? What else? What else do we get in that? Uh, I'm just most excited about that. Uh, where's it at? And that's the wrong tier. Expanded. So we got that. That we have a fuel generator consumes fuel to generate electricity for your power grill grid. Has an input, so feeding fuel can be automated. Okay. And then we do the scanner update now. So could, I thought we already had that unlocked from doing the other thing. I might have been wrong with that. I think I thought we did. I guess we didn't. I guess we'll scan it because I already pushed the button. All right, so anyway, we've unlocked that. That's really nice because I do have a lot of industrial beams already made. Um, let's go back to the basement. I really like our elevator. It's really clean. Well, I have a good amount. Should be enough to do what we really need to do with what we need to do. Take all. Bam. All right, let me show you what I've done. You can see stuff on my hot bar. Found in a Windows mod. It's called Holes. It has gateways and uh, windows. Very simple mod. Nothing major. Just new more walls to do because... We're able to do something like this. Uh, so you can see the glass here. I did some trim around the edges on this end. Let's go over here. And I did something different down here. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to end up making some stairs up here or something. But then you have these right here, too. There's a little bit of an overlap right now. I haven't figured out exactly how, well, what happened here. Exactly how I want to manage that just yet. But then, like, on the inside, this is where I'm really happy about things. We have little gardens. The gardens of trees. We have glassed in areas, the like glass roofs, a little cover. You can see the glass going up to here. Oops, I need to go up and fix those. Those are wrong. That's what I get for getting all excited about knowing it. Let me show you how it looks like, though, from down below. Let's get down here. Let's get over here. And from down below, oh, we still have a tree sticking through at the first thing. Okay, I got to fix that. Down below, we ha it looks really good. I'm very happy with that. I like the larger glass windows. I had done smaller ones before. I wasn't happy with it. But, like, but the, these larger pane ones look amazing in comparison. And they really finish off the edge, edge of this to make it look like cool. I can't wait to have the track coming in and out to give it that finished look uh, of, of why it's open like that. But uh, I was able to do that. Now, you can't do walls uh, all up on the the train stations you know what's because it just the uh, I, I really wish they had a no collisions option to turn on and off uh there was a mod back in the day that would let us do that before the pipes update which now that's gone and it doesn't look like it's gonna get updated i don't know but um like in this case i can put this fence facing this direction and it'll still build a place if i had to face the other direction it wouldn't let me uh, but i can't do any walls regardless of facing and I did want these up one with a, with a little nice little skirt around it, but I couldn't put walls on this. Whoa, couldn't put walls on this side. Now, also, just a word of warning for those of you wanting to use the decoration mod, the ivy and other stuff like that does not does, is not removable. You cannot remove it, and I hate doing anything non permanent with pieces because after Fortnite creative problems, um, I, I it just was I don't want them there, and it made it look so much better. But then I luckily I had an auto save, but then I checked it, and it was like. It's kind of jacked up. It was jacked up, man. Which one's sticking through over here? It, it, oh, it's the tree. The tree's sticking through. Oh, that sucks. Oops, I'm stuck. 
All right, let's grab you and put you right here. And then get rid of you. And then hopefully I can put you back in the hole, kind of. But forward one, maybe? No. Oh, boy. I just want it to look nice in here. This is nice. Definitely not that one. Okay. Maybe we can slide you up in, up in here. Uh, are you sticking through with those roots there? It looks like it is still. Dang it, man. Uh, that's not cool. I just put, I'll just put it in here and just try to fix it um, later, I guess. <clears throat> but that's what I got up in here. Nice little area. I'd love to have some waiting area stuff together here, too, if we could. It'd be really cool. Uh, but I thought it looked pretty nice. <laughs> Adding this little end on it. At least this the station hits pretty much sits up flush to it. So I'll give up not being able to put walls next to it by having it nice and tight. Tight like the 90s. Mm -hmm. But so anyway, I thought that looked pretty good. Wanted to share that with you guys. But today, we need to start getting uh, plans for our storage areas together. And I'm excited to try out the the new um, the new conveyors and everything too. That's awesome. I'm glad we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, we have to end up making some more automate. We we have a lot of stuff to do, honestly, and that's great. I'll take a lot of stuff versus trying to find things to do any day. So anyway, let's start off by grabbing some of these so we can have ourselves uh, some industrial storage. Is is is, and it should be just okay. I wanted these to be. not uh this i wanted them to be at least the same height if not lower than this wall here so we'll probably have to do some adjustments and i also want to see how close well we can't have because we're trying to do exits on these two how many can we put in like rows i wish i could hold down a button and drag it and let me place like several of them in a row like 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 that and just hold it and let me do it but that's not a thing so we started uh we have oh, let's see we can fit was it three per foundation it seems like it. i know it's off a little bit all right, it's a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit less than th uh, three per two foundation. I'm sorry. All right, so how many foundations do we have here? Because um, there's a lot of resources in the game. I'm going to guess probably like 60, 50, 60. I don't know of what we can gather and want to have at our disposal. Let's just count the whole width. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Minus two is 15. And then, uh, let's see here, we're going to do that. Well, we can just actually 30 and then 45. So we could get 45 in a row here, one row, if we wanted to use this much width in it. And I don't, but I don't, I, I kind of want to have, I think we have enough room to have the flow come out. We just need, we need to look at smart splitters too. That means I need to make more. Just thought about that. We need to make more computers then. Great. Um, but have a whole thing come in here, split it up, do what it's got to do. I, I I wonder how the 480 would handle, like, how much space do these hold again? I forget. All right, so that's not too bad. What we should do is have a buffer and have, a, have it bring all the mats in from all the trains into our buffer system to unload the train as quickly as possible and get it out the door. I'm guessing it sits here until, does it have a timer or does it wait until things are done? Oh, hello, I missed you. No power. Oh, yeah, I didn't have it hooked up. Um, it was in this it's train station here and timetables. Okay, there's no power. I have no idea what I'm clicking on because of the no power spam. Thank you, no power spam. Either way, though, I want to make sure we can unload this thing ASAP. And since we have multiple ins and outs, uh, we should be okay. We should be good to go. I think we'll be able to handle it, especially with the new conveyor belt. MK, well, Mark IV. Anyway, wait. I thought I put a two on one. Did it not work? I really hate the, the the whatever mod is doing it. That's covering the put that on one. Why is it not putting it on one? Let's just see how this looks. By the way. Oh, that is thick. Oh, that is fast. That's maxi man. I wonder if there's a faster one available. Mark V. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's that's usually. Can I walk against it? I can any. I can't even run against it. Nice. I'll take that. It did that time. Okay. Anyway, why is it not placing it on my hotbar? That's a problem. 
There we go. If I put it on there now, okay. And that can be on two. This can be on three. Then go to found uh, not foundations, but go to the organizations. It's got the industrial storage. I'm not gonna bring any fluid here, so that's that's a good thing. Now, um, also with the these two, we have two outs. I wonder if it's just be just smart enough just to put them like directly from them. I mean, I don't plan to send anything by train from here. I just plan to have like it all come in here and this is for my personal my personal collections. How are we doing with that to do this? Because that could very quickly this is have its own sword. It does. So once it unloads it, we're clear. Okay, so we really don't have to worry about too much that has its built in buffer. Didn't realize that well, how else would it get it off there and then have a place it? Whatever. Anyway, uh, we can run two out. The thing is, though, I want to funnel it through the system and maybe maybe make two buffer systems. To, oh, not buffer, but sorting systems. So what do we need for the logisticals of stuff? Uh, is it in logisticals? Here it is. It's an AI unit it uses. So reinforced by AI. Set a rule for which part should go left and which part should go right. Okay. That's a lot of parts, man. It's a lot of parts. Let's check out the AI modules, what it takes to make that. And then we'll probably do is be right back and let me get some stuff done and we'll come back and then see how it works. We can do some testing. Uh, AI module. Oh, can I not make that myself? There, limiter, it's a limiter, AI limiter. It uses what, Katerium wire, quick wire and copper sheets. That's not bad at all. Beautiful. I will take that. Um, only problem is I need to get more wire. And that's probably one of the reasons why it gave me that to scan because we have to use it. And we have some like right over here. And we had built a factory right over here earlier, uh, like last season. So, yeah, it was right up here. Hmm. How to handle this then? Are there any baddies up here other than myself? Probably. Did I already kill them? Possibly. All right, we just need to blow up a hole. Oh. Oh, hey, Bobby. And Bobby. And this is copper. Oh, it's Katerium. It's Katerium. Okay. Wasn't there a second one here? Or was it just the one? It might have been just the one. All right. Well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and set up something real simple here. Um, just to get the mining and then smelting and then making wire for me. So I had just, I have some extra wire if we're going to be doing some smart splitters and I need it anyway for more power type things because I was getting low anyway. So I'm going to do that. We'll get some AI uh, limiters put together. We'll get some other things together and just see how it all works and see how bad it is or how good the, the smart stuff is. It's really that smart. Either way, you guys hold on. All right, welcome back. And, um... Well, we got, I got a little container wire over there going on. Just a couple things running, not the whole thing. Um, and I decided to check out the smart splitter some. And I assume that they would have an overflow in this. And I looked up and it doesn't. And I looked up the next one, which is a programmable one that can handle like multiple items out inputs. I looked up that one. I thought, well, maybe that one has an overflow. It doesn't. I. It, it kind of doesn't make much sense to me. Also, from what I can tell, is that there is like no like like no way to handle overflows. Like, and if I have if I have anything filtered on one of these, like then the like let's do this. Let's try this out. Let me see something here. Let's do concrete. Screw it. Let's do concrete and all, and let's do this coming from here into uh, where's it at oh, that's actually going out so let's just take a copy of you let's put you over here just for now uh, where's the input right here all right let's do that and then left is this side so let's just bring this out about right here and then let's do this and then the left here is concrete this one the this little middle one's that okay let's load this up with concrete now okay Oh, it does do it. So it does have a built-in overflow. Or is it... Okay, we got to check something else out now. Let's do this.
it splits them. Hmm. It's a splitting. It, obviously, it's a splitter, so, der. And then when that one becomes backed up, and then it completely goes out this one. Okay. That is like half functionality. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. I mean, I guess we can make loops. I just feel like that's super inefficient. Hmm. What if we do this? Let's take out these again. Let's pull you and put you right here. Let's take this one out. Put you like over this way or something. All right, and then let's pick up these guys. All right, now let's see what happens here when I change this one also to concrete. gonna split it three ways right I mean why would it change anything different with, with just adding another output yeah it just splits it three ways that one's oh oh really and that one is this one set to any oh any undefined so that should be the standard any is now it's backing up is it okay so if I remove you and then get rid. Wait. And then get rid of the output here. That's interesting. What is happening then? That doesn't make much sense to me. Okay, what is happening then? What it, what what is? All right. What if we do? Let's do center output with just concrete then, and then make this day that one's any. That is super weird to me. All right. So it's whenever this one backs up. It stops the whole thing, but if it's not backed up. And now when that one's backed up, it back. I feel like these aren't that smart. <laughs> or I'm not. This is very likely. That's going to not work out then. My whole plan for this is not going to work out. Uh, I don't want to do anything cheaty, but I feel like I feel like that's something that should be like part of it. I mean, I wouldn't even care if it was something hot later on. And if the programmable works pretty much the same way, it, there should be like an overflow one. There should be like a main and then the overflow or something like that. I feel. Hmm. All right, let me see what I can figure out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm trying something out here. I've got copper wire in here right now. And I want to see what happens here when it switches the concrete. Okay. So this one, this filter on this side has concrete. This has any. This one has copper wire. That one has any. So um, I guess if we could make it work, it would just be. Like, keep in half and... Well, sinking the other half. And you're on any now, too. Huh. That's a lot of wasted mats and stuff. Huh. I mean, I could also loop it back in and it would just divide itself and divide itself each time, but... Huh. 
I guess this is what we have to work with, isn't it? <laughs> See, I w now I wish I had the programmable one so I could do multiple outputs and, like, d divide it, divide it, and divide it, you know? Uh, I need to see what it takes to unlock that thing. I, I just wish there was an overflow. I really just had a simple overflow thing going. Instead of, again, we could do another overflow buffer. I just think if we fill out one storage box and then have it, then that conveyor belt gets locked up. And then, then it would default to another one. And then have that one go to a sink, a set of sinks, you know, where it can sink it out. And, and then we make mats, we have full storage, everything's good to go. This is not good to go. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I actually want to think about that, honestly. Hmm. Well, this episode just got a lot longer <laughs> to record. I don't have a problem with it. I just want to make sure if we're going to invest all this in here that we're going to do it right. You know what I mean? I don't want to just like, yeah, zah, 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 zah. you know, we're trying to do this right. Oh, it's the wrong way. Let's just go to the end. So anyway, I'm going to think on this and figure something out. We'll be back. All right, welcome back. I've decided to follow through with the initial idea. There might be some manual fixing and stuff down the road, but um, I did come across another problem here and trying to make things nice and tight and clean. Um... Industrial storage. I wanted to use these. They look really nice. They look, those those frames look nice. Those aren't up high enough. I'm very aware of that. But right here, like if I were to have those connect to a uh, storage, I would have to make gaps between the storages because the next one wouldn't work because these things won't clip through the bars, which makes sense. So the way you get to get these up in here, that that's not far enough. Like right here, maybe. Yeah. So that's not gonna line up with it. It's gonna be off. And it would progressively get worse and worse and worse and worse. The reason why I like these two, uh, it's, uh, isn't in here. There it is. These, these snap very nicely in here. Like very nicely. I was very fond of it. Of course, now it's going to do it. Not going to do it since I said, there we go. I said it would. I thought that looked really good. We didn't even have railings up on the edge of that with the frames. The frames looked amazing. It's not going to happen. Um, so. There we have it. Also, I've worked out a kind of a, a spacing loop to go with the the big boys. So let's say we have a smart splitter here, and I'm going to use this corner as my starting point. So it, input comes in this way. And we have output here. We'll have output here. And then I'm going to put another one, and it won't utilize it completely well. But if I do this right, all the spacing will be the same for everything. And then I'll put another one right next to it. And then that spacing's the same and then start repeating the pattern. So this one comes over here. We'll put another one right here, have it come in. I forget my spacing exactly. I'll get it worked out once we start doing it. And then so on and so on. Just, it, it looks kind of weird, but I kind of like the little jumpy dudes it's doing. But this is like, there's two out, one out, two out, one out, like that. Um, I could do, I, th I like how that looks. That's just, it's gonna come out, like, it'll make it look like it's, it's pretty clean. So, you know, and then, then whatever it ends off and go like this. And I, I'm considering, wondering what just happened there. I'm considering that, uh, just have it go straight to a sink, have a sink set up. So we keep some of the mats and sink the rest, have a nice day. Uh, type of situation. I, I feel like even though now we're we don't really have to have anything to unlock anything But use these in tandem with the lifts that go up to the there and then um, we're gonna have a floor above that That's gonna be kind of even with the tops of the These guys So these are exactly two of these foundations tall So if I go up uh, like a partial which we're going to have to figure out how the heck we're going to make that look good, but I'll be right over the top of it. And what we can do is make it because we can access those get bad boys from right there. And so they can access them there. Uh, maybe end up having like the uh, walkways in between in betwixt. Like, like walkway crossing somewhere in the middle of this, like something like that in between. However, we end up setting them up. And that's another thing too, is that 
our spacing on these isn't foundation half foundation wide, so it's always going to be kind of janky. It's always going to be some, one way is going to be jankier than the other way. You know, it's just like I, I I'm not sure. It's just a little bit. There's a lot of things we're figuring out that you know it is what it is. Just trying to make the best out of it versus what I can do right now and how much time I have to put into it to get it to where it's working. And I, this is a main area, so I want it to be as good as it can be. Um, so. Uh, it's either have monstrous amounts of spacing between stuff like here and then skipping that one and then having spacing here. What kind of space do we have between those two? Can we put a is the cuz I would I would love to have these in the ground. I would love to have these in the ground. And it's still kind of janky with that. Huh. Let's bring that one out, and I guess I should just climb up over here. Yeah, and it's, so it's janky with that, too. Now, what if I... What's the other offsets I can do here? And the cover, that covers half. That covers most of it. So it's there's no real happy ending with this. If I want to use those frames... It is that we will have to do this kind of spacing with this. If I don't want to use these frames, we can space these how we want. That's probably what I'll end up doing. And then putting little signs above them to tell me what's and what, so I know what's where, when, and where, how. Like, because we have those icons. So, like, let's say, let's say this one, we'll do the rotor thing again. Uh, where is it? Uh, this is an organization, yeah. So we have the signs, and then we have the actual icons, too. I wonder how big the sign is. How big is the rotor sign? That is huge. Oh, they stack. That's kind of cool. Not what I want to use. Can I resize these things, though? I, I forgot to check that. Let's see. Let's try the 3D one. Here's the cable. God dang, that's huge. That's a big thing of cable. I'll tell you that right now. There's no interactivity with it. Okay. Huh. So the other way to do it would be to ride it out. I was hoping to use these signs, having some small versions of these signs, but we could write it out on a sign and have like signs, signs everywhere. This, can these snap on top of these? It had it there for a second and then it went away. Is it on the side? Did I see it on the side or something? It was because it was touching that probably. Either way, we could make something work with the signs here, too. I don't know. Can I reach between them? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So many choices. Uh, but one thing is good. We get the, I mean, I worked out the best I can with what we've got. Uh, it's going to suck if something backs up. I'm hoping that it won't back. Well, when it does back up, eventually the storages will be full, but it'll keep passing through to go to the sink. Um, mainly, I just want one industrial container right now full of everything and then have a refill as stuff comes in and <clears throat> have it to where I'm not like having to run individual conveyor. Obviously, you guys know individual conveyors and everything use the train for what we can. And then when we bring stuff um, like the Katarian wire that's just over there, it'll come in and we'll introduce it to one of these uh, buffers um, and have it come in and stuff like that. That's that's great. And just just trying to get this all to work out, man. It's just that's just man, <laughs> man. All right. Well, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do a little bit more of it, get it up. We'll see how it looks. We'll be back. All right. Welcome back. And we have been working and got the first thing set up here, generally speaking, for the input feeding and all that stuff and our stuff. So I was thinking that here's the main hallway coming in from below, uh, well, the below hallway, uh, basement hallway, if you will. So I'm leaving this double area open. Um, still deciding how I want to manage all this, but I went ahead and put some glass ceilings up so I can see down below. I have the buses down here. There's the whole um, buses down. The, well, not buses. I have the mergers down here. And what I decided to do, we're going to try it out first with uh, with a merging on two rows. And then coming through here, and then it has a double over. And then this is going to come around and connect into our system here, which here's this, the what we did before. So this is the input here. And everybody's going to have a way they like to do stuff, by the way. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and comment on that now. It might not be exactly how X does it or B does it or Y. I, I'm, this is what I'm going to try out. I'm going to try this out. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to try it out. And it, it might miserably fail. 
which, you know, that's part of the playing games. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have the input coming in here from our, our initial buffers. And then it, it, this goes in. There's one connected here. Bam. And it's just going to all feed up top to different rows, which I think looks okay. I think it looks all right. And it comes all the way around. And then we have our output, which we'll build. Uh, we'll probably end up looping this a couple times or something to go through it. I don't know how bad it's going to back up, how bad it's going to do. I have no clue. I kind of can't wait to see it in action. Um, one good thing about this is that if we loop out, we can actually put mergers here. And then that way I can just have a loop continuously on itself. And then where one merger is, have a split. So half of whatever the overflow is currently, because it's only splitting it, um, it gets, gets thrown in there and then it goes to the system again. And then it gets thrown in there, a type of a thing. I still wish there was a way I could gate it um, without slowing the whole system down because if I have a multitude of different types of objects coming in and the first object is this one as, and, and then if I want to slow the output in this one, I could put like a slower belt here. But once I finish with this one and it's passed through the next item, it's immediately keeps everything slowed down to whatever this belt speed is. So I really can't do that if I want to get keep this thing moving. So I'm hoping we just have a mass amount of mats that come in that I needed to do this anyway. So it's up being okay without doing like a bunch of, you know, I haven't built the factories yet to know exactly what my outputs are going to be uh, and, and be sending over here and how the train's going to do it. Just, I'm just trying to be preemptive as possible to, to be ready. We do have a, a good amount of space. If you look at our lines, I use one, two, and three, four. So we have enough room for another row of this. So and I think we have nine or ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of them. So two rows, that's twenty-eight. Um, and then we could fit some more on the other side. So we could possibly hit about 40, maybe 50. Uh, I think we'll probably be able to hit 50 of them, which is about what I want anyway. And um, this is the basement. Then there's the first floor, or this is the second basement. That's the first basement. And then we'll have the main floor for accessing our stuff up two more walls higher than this. And that's where I was starting to you know, figure out this thing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which walls I want to use yet, just yet. I might use some more of these modded uh, holes, if you will, just to get through there. Like um, like this guy right here. You know, I'd be using this to come off of this or something. And having a doorway into here. And then that one can go here. And then kind of have it like that big or something like that. Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll get it worked out. And then I'll probably end up doing the floors again, too. I really, really, really wish we could have used these in here. I really do. I think that would look so good. I wish there, you know, without having a bunch of gaps between our storages. I just don't want to do that. Hey, Squiggly! Anyway, though, I think that's the time we've got for the day. Hopefully, you guys like what you see. Don't forget to slap the like button. It does help me out a lot. Oh, we have a glass elevator. How high can we go up with this? 50. And as always, thank you so very much. You all have a good night. It goes higher. 400 meters. Wow. Wow.